Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Ethan, this is Carbro. Welcome to the series where I teach you how to build a Discord to Pybot for your server. Today we're creating the database, we're actually getting on with some code. So let's get into it. Uh, the first thing we need to do is open our IDE. I'm using Sublime, you can use whatever IDE you want really. Um, I probably should have showed you how to download Sublime, I suppose, but it doesn't matter too much. Um, if you're using Sublime, or I think a lot of IDEs let you do this, um, if uh, to add a, a folder to our project to the sidebar down here, we can actually go. Uh, this is our repository folder. We can click and drag that. We can actually click and drag that over Sublime, over this menu here because I have two, and into this sidebar, and boom, <clears throat> we have a folder open on the side with our README to boot, as well as open read if we wanted to, but we don't. Um, so the f yeah, uh, we're creating a database today and all the database utilities and stuff. Uh, the reason I'm doing this before we make the bot is just because it makes it easier in the long run to be honest. Um, so we're going to be creating a few directories. So <clears throat> we're going to create a folder called lib. That stands for library. And inside that folder we're going to create a folder called db. And uh, we're going uh, to say, we're actually going to close this file because I don't need it. Uh, we're going to create a new file in there and we're going to call it init.py. Oops. Init. Uh, I don't want to just call it py. All we're going to do is from dot import db. Uh, don't forget the relative import there. Hi, editing me here. Um, just a little extra thing because I realized I forgot to put something in. Um, in this init.py function, we also need to put db.build. Um, we will be making that in a little bit but I just remembered that we actually need to put that in there, otherwise it won't do anything. Um, so yeah, and we're also going to create a, another file uh, called db.py, which will contain most of our stuff. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is add a few imports. So we're going to from im oops, uh, os im os.path, sorry. Import is file, that will just be used to check um, if a file exists on the on the system, and as I said, we're going to be using the default SQLite uh, library. So we're just going to do from SQLite three import connect. That will help us connect to our database. Uh, Note that when creating the database, the directory the database is going to go in needs to exist. So we actually need to create a database um, now. But I'm going to uh, specify a path of the constant because it's easier. Gonna set it as relative slash. You don't need to do that, but I like it. Uh, data slash uh, db slash database dot db. Um, you can have a number of things here, so you can do SQLite three if you wish. I just like to do db because it's easier. Um, so as I said, uh, uh, this directory doesn't exist, so we actually need to make it. So we're gonna go new folder called data. Inside our data folder, we're not gonna create a new file. Um, we don't need to. Uh, we are going to make a new folder called db, and we're going to be putting some other stuff in that data, in that uh, folder in a second. But as long as the folder exists, the database will be created automatically. So we're going to have a build path, um, which is going to be data slash db slash build dot sql. We're going to be creating that in a second. Um, but yeah, we just need it there. So we're going to create our database connection, which is going to equal uh, connect uh, d db path, and then we're going to set check same thread equals false. Um, I just use that because it, it gets rid of some errors. Um, it might not be it's uh, it's not going to be the best thing to do if you have a connection pool, but we're not using connection pools it's not going to matter too much. Uh, and we're going to create a cursor, it's simply going to be our connection.cursor. Um, <clears throat> now the next load of, of, um, of functions are going to be very familiar <laughs> to people who have seen some other, some other um, series before, especially the Twitch bot series because the file is basically the same because I just like having all my different utilities. You don't need to create all these functions, I just prefer to have them because I think it makes it easier. So we're going to start with our with commit decorator which arguably is a little less useful um, for Discord bots but you know whatever. So we're going to have our args and quags. 
we're going to call our function with args and quags and then we're going to commit which is a which doesn't exist yet but it will in a second and we're going to return inner and that's our little decorator done um, we're going to create a function that uses that commit and it's basically going to be the only one <laughs> um, more or less I just like having the decorator there just in case um, <clears throat> It's going to be called build. So this is where our uh, is file is going to come in. So if ah god, um, uh, if uh, the file essentially if our if our SQL uh, build file exists, then we need to script exec something else that doesn't exist yet, but we're going to be making that soon. Our build path. Um, so we're going to have a a a, uh, a f function that commits, there we go, if I can actually get the words out that'd be nice. Um, we're gonna have one that closes, the reason we're not just importing the connection in other things is just because this is easier to do, you can just put db.commit instead of db.connection.commit, um, just makes it, things a little more shorthand. Uh, field, on values and we're going to pass that for now and we're actually going to copy and paste that like four times um, we're going to have records records and column so all these four functions are going to do is they're going to return uh, our data in different ways so we're going to have our cursor.execute I don't actually know why I didn't do this first because I'm going to need to copy and paste this across all of them anyway uh, values. Uh, one thing while I'm doing that, uh, I will talk about is why we are passing uh, values in as an argument list and then convert it to tuple on the other side. Essentially it just makes the function look nicer. Um, it is almost entirely aesthetic, um, so you don't need to do it if you don't want to, but uh, it's just what I prefer to do. So for this one, we actually need to uh, define fetch as a variable. This is Python 3.8 now, so we are using our walrus operator. If you're on Python 3.7, that won't work. Uh, Curd fetch one, fetch one is not not there. We go. That was my racist quota for the day. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna get myself into trouble already. Uh, so essentially, what that is doing is if the um, uh, if the row exists then get the first element of it because it always returns a tuple even if it is only one element long. The reason why we have to do an if statement is because if you try and uh, index a non-object it uh, Python is going to have a bit of a cry. Um, so you just need those extra lines. For the other ones you just need to do cur.fetch1. Fetch not going to make that same joke again. <laughs> it's not even funny. <laughs> I just put it in the first place. Never mind. Uh, fetch all Column. Column is a little bit more complicated, so we're going to be turning item or the zero element of the list because we are essentially doing a fetch statement um, for item in cur.fetch all. So uh, rest assured that returns a column as a list um, without having to do all the fancy stuff on the other side. Next up is the execute, which we'll be using whenever we want to add stuff to the database, delete stuff to, from the database or just modify it in some other way. Um, so cur.execute, I could have really uh, done with copy pasting this as well because this is the same bloody thing. Um, <laughs> I'm a smart programmer, uh, we don't need to return anything for that. And def multi exec is just my little alias for, uh, uh, for uh, executing many functions at once. There's a chance we might not actually need this. Uh, we might need it like once, um, but it is a good thing to have because it is a lot faster than doing a load of execute statements. Um, and then of course there is our script exec from before path uh, with open path uh, in read mode in coding equals utf8 just to make sure everything works as planned uh, script oh, as script um, cur.execute script uh, and then we load that script and then we read the script and then we just execute everything in there um, so that is our 
a uh, little bit of code, our oh, 68 line utility, we are literally never going to come back to this file again, however one file we are going to come back to is the file I'm about to create now which is our script .sql, not script.sql, build.sql. Uh, we are going to be coming back to this file later to add more tables down the line, however seen as this is a to, to, as soon as this video is about creating database, I thought I might as well create a table in there as well while I'm here. Um, even though we're not gonna, actually going to be using this table until right near the end of the series, I think it's like episode 26 or something we use this table, but it's the easiest one to talk about. Um, so we create a table if not exists, <clears throat> exp, that just stands for experience. Um, and we do that, I believe that's right syntax. <laughs> I'm kind of, I think I'm get, uh, getting confused with the insert statement in my head there. Um, I'm sure that's right. So we're going to have a user ID. That's just going to be an integer that is also going to be our primary key. Uh, SQLite just works out the size of the integer needed when you insert the data, so that's fine. Um, plus it doesn't actually have big ints and stuff like that, so you can do it even if you wanted to. We're also going to have our XP, which is going to be an integer. Our level, which is going to be an integer, and our XP lock, which is going to be text. Um, and we're going to set that up with the default of current timestamp. Now, I'll explain more of what these things do. We actually get to the episode where we talk about um, the experience system. We need to know over here is that user ID is stored as an integer because the Discord library has it as an integer, so we need to store it. Uh, the primary key means we can only insert one information on one, not information on one user at a time, we can only inf insert information on a user once. So each each user can only have one row. There is no, not even I, can have multiple rows. Um, number of XP, that actually does need to be set as default as well, come to think of it. Over zero and same with level. Um, the XP and the level are just, you know, experience a level or track is, there's, there's nothing too fancy there. Um, realistically speaking, you potentially don't even need level. Um, actually, to be completely honest, you probably don't need the level one, actually. You can probably just work it out using the, f the formula that you used to calculate level in the first place. But we're going to leave it in there, at least for now. Um, when we come to the experience system, we might uh, get rid of it later, but for now, we might as well just keep it. Um, Text field just notes text. SQLite doesn't actually have a date time field, so it's just text. It just knows. Um, and we're setting the default as the current timestamp, which is basically just UTC now. It's not your. It's not the time in your current time zone. It is the time in UTC, um, which is something to make a note of. Um, I'm made the last tutorial series when the UK was on BST, I'm doing it again now. Mm, um, I won't make the same mistakes as I did before though, with the time zones. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much our database sorted. We're not going to need anything in the database for quite some time. Uh, but the database is there, uh, ready for us because we're going to be accessing the database before we talk about any of the other stuff in episode like 12 or 13 when we talk about welcoming members. Um, but uh, yeah, if you like the video, and say hello down below. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment down below as well, or join the Discord server if you in the description if you so wish. If you really like the video, and consider subscribing, hit the bell so you are loaded of future videos. And if you really, really like the video, then consider supporting me on Patreon because that would be really cool if you do. Of course, you don't have to, but it's an option there if you wanted. Um, Next time we're talking, we're actually making the bot run. We're going to be actually doing the thing and making the bot run, and it's all very exciting. Um, so I will see you for that.